Hello, everybody, and welcome to the International. I'm here with GH from Liquid. How are you doing? I'm doing good. What about you? I'm doing great. I get to sit here and talk with you. Um, so you've come to TI and you finished first in your group, um, but it actually wasn't until just at the end of last year that you started playing with Liquid. Um, how have you adjusted to you know the, the s just the lifestyle of being a professional gamer? Uh, should I carry this? Uh, this is fine. I'll okay. So it's it's a lot different from living my own life back in Lebanon because uh, it requires a lot more traveling, planning, and competing at tournaments. I think for the most part I've got used to this lifestyle, which is nice for me because uh, I'm always on the move and you need to plan the trips ahead. So far, it hasn't been much annoying. It's just been f uh, like smooth. All the all our trips have been nice and nothing really annoying for me. It's nice overall. And do you feel ever like just the travel is just so much sometimes? Like it's just exhausting or has it just been not too bad so far? Well, so far it hasn't been that bad, but I would just imagine going f for from one tournament to another if it's for like from China to USA and then from USA to China I think that would be exhausting so I wouldn't do that and in your free time if you if you have any free time between tournaments and planning and everything uh, what do you what do you do to relax do you just or is is it just dota or is there anything else that you like to do to like take your mind off things well, technically, I'm just like any other individual. I just enjoy some sports. I like hanging out with my friends. My favorite sport is table tennis. So I wish I could find some people to play table tennis with me here. Um, I like watching movies and like just hanging out with my friends. Maybe go camping, watch some movies, some series. That's it. And you were involved in some teams before you joined Liquid, but obviously, because the level is so, it's just higher, and there's so much involved uh, was it difficult to get used to that environment of just always being in this rigorous environment well let me tell you something at first it's a bit harder because there's a lot of pressure on you to perform to your highest standards and uh, it's it's a bit different so i'm not gonna say that it was uh, like automatic adjustment for me but it took me some couple of months just to get in used to it and to get into the mood the proper mood for the team environment and we just went from there and I don't know if you think about this often, but you know, like you hear at this event, you're paying, playing for like $24 million almost. Um, have, do you ever stop to think about like, man, this is crazy. Like you're, you're kind of famous. Like people recognize you, people see you and they're just like, man, GH God, he's so good. Like, does that ever seem a little crazy to you? W one thing that our, my coach and especially my captain told me, was that treat this this tournament specifically as any other tournament just so I don't like panic or do anything because it's my first international so what I kept in mind is that this is just like any other tournament the price pool doesn't matter we just have to perform and play our best and when you go on to the main stage to play do you, are, uh, do you think you'll feel nervous or do you think you'll be able to kind of shut it out and be like this is just, it's just a game. I'm just going to go in and play my style. Uh, I can't answer that, to be honest, because I have no idea how to feel when I'm on stage. Maybe if you come back to me in like a couple of days, <laughs> I'll tell you that I could shut it out or I couldn't. All right, well, good luck. I'm sure everybody's going to be cheering for, for, for you pretty hard, so it'll be fun to watch. Um, recently at um, Dream League, you guys played in the grand finals against Planet Odd, and you were down zero to two. Um, what's the discussion like within the team um, when you're facing that third game, where it's possible like we might just get three would How do you approach that third game and the games that come after? Well, when you get two would the first two games, and it's a best of five, so one more game you're gonna get knocked out. Just try to take a step back and think. Try to reset your mind. Try to dismiss every feeling you have every every bad feeling every ne like every every point of neg negativity you have in your mind and just try to treat it as a game one or something and try to play your best instead of focusing on that then it's a 2-0 and um, 
you've been working with your coach Heen uh, this year. Um, how do you think uh, things have changed? You know, you're working with a coach now who handles a lot of responsibility. Does that kind of free you up to focus on your game? Do you like working with the coach? Uh, there are a lot of ups of the having a coach, especially ours, because not not only is he good on in the game and as a th in theory. But outside the game, he supports us a lot. He's always there for us. Any ca any kind of problem we might have, he's there to solve it with us. And he's just like a great great moral support inside and outside the game. And um, obviously, you probably don't want to focus on you. You just want to focus on what's coming. But have you thought about you know if you won TI, what do you do? You have anything that you've kind of like dreamed of doing? Uh, dreamed of doing with that kind of prize pool have you is there any, like anything that you would just love to do more than anything else I just love to play Dora and ping pong <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, sure uh, I have some stuff nothing too too luxurious or anything just I like just hanging out with my friends having some trips around the country staying in the mountains going camping so uh, honestly I'm not I'm not looking for a huge prize pool to do anything that I love. I, I have nothing in mind about the prize pool. I'm just playing the game, and when I go back after TI, I'm just going to hang out with some friends. Um, and when you go back and you're kind of hanging out with your friends, you're seeing family, how do you explain what you do? Are they supportive, or is it kind of like they don't understand? <laughs> it's a funny story, actually, because I was in a birthday some six months ago and there was this person who just couldn't wrap her wrap her head around what I actually do so for me for me it was a bit confusing because I mean I was trying my best to explain it but for some reason it was hard for this person to understand which made it even harder for me to grasp the thought of her not understanding but um, overall it's just I just tell them that I I, I treat I treat the game like any other sport, honestly. So I just explain them in my own words that it's a sport and there are tournaments and competitions and we we just play competitively. That's it. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us. Do you have any shout outs that you'd like to give before we close? Just want to say thank you to the fans who supported us and especially me uh, throughout this year and before even before this year uh, this year especially my best friends back at home. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. This is Team Empire. Please subscribe for more interviews at the International. All right. Thank you very much.